morning. Hello. Uh, so my name is Mansoura Kautal Hasna. I'm a linguistic English student in Buzreya University, and I'm going to talk about the importance of university cultural clubs. I always wondered why somebody doesn't do something about that. Then I realized I was somebody, Lily Tomlin. Uh, this quote inspires me the most because, uh, in fact, I wondered, like, it's... Um, for the last few years, I was always wondering, see negativity, see, like, problems in our society, and I was trying or wondering why nobody, no one is doing something about these problems, but then... I decided to start acting. Well, I would like to start. I would like to start by a letter story. Uh, sorry, it's not working. <laughs> sorry, it's my first time on stage, so. <laughs> okay, it's, it's fine. So I would like to start by a little story. Back in 2015, when I was uh, 17 years old, I was this shy little girl, insecure, doesn't know anything about the real world. Uh, my life was basically based on school, home, some like small circle of friends. We were all similar. Uh, I wasn't exposed like to the real world yet until I was uh, selected to be a delegate in Berlitz ML project that summer and it was life-changing experience because I've met different people different ages uh, different f from different different places different field of study and even jobs then I started questioning myself like what about me? What I'm going to choose next? What I'm going to do? What's my inspiration in life? What's my purpose? And after a lot of thinking, after a lot of uh, searching, let's say, I, I realized I, I really loved helping others, volunteering. But uh, as high school, student, I wasn't able to do this. I didn't know where, where can I start doing so? And then by helping uh, my friends and so on, it wasn't that easy, I mean, to help individuals. Can you imagine like uh, you will start adopting their problems and thinking about them like all the time? It's not, uh, <laughs> you won't help them that much, especially if you, uh, your cup is empty. You can't put, pour anything from an empty cup. So then, after my baccalaureate, I, I started to attend different events. I discovered clubs, university clubs, because uh, to be honest, classes, university classes aren't enough to discover yourself, to know what inspires you, or to work with others, or like to make connections. So when I started like joining many events and uh, meeting new people like uh, Hussein, for example, in Patos or Bahmed, and I saw them do an amazing job. But uh, sadly in Buzriya, in my university, there was no club, no activity at all. So I, I had to do something about that to change it, right? But I was afraid, obviously. Uh, how can I do something, like start something from nothing? And, but I was afraid, right? But I was lucky. I had good friends, I had good support. So, <laughs> and um, in 2018, in Wiki stage, uh, I was there with a friend, my best friend, and I saw uh, it was organized by a CAP Club in, uh, from uh, school uh, Polytechnique. 
and I was amazed by their work. They were doing amazing. They were just students like me, and look at them. I mean, it was in uh, Opera of Algiers, huge stage and uh, amazing guests. And that day, last year, I was like, okay, if they can do that, I, of, of course I can do something by myself in, in my university. I can start something since I have the right support. That's why your family and your friends are so important. They can really push you to do amazing things. So that day I deci decided to open my club and I named it w WATI. It's an acronym that stands for We Act to Impact. And the, the team of Wikistage that year was Act to Impact. So we Act to Impact now. <laughs> And here's my family. It's my second family. Now, that's a picture from our first event ever, uh, orientation day for first year student. Because when I was first year student, no one was there to orient, to help me. So we did this. <laughs> and I was proud of my team, of course. Uh, what is Wati? So Wati is an academic, cultural, and social club that uh, as I said, uh, stands for We Act to Impact, founded by students from Buzira University, uh, from the English department. And its first goal is to animate life there, to help students, to spread awareness. So basically, we inform students about the opportunities outside and uh, help them to acquire new skills because I believe uh, that if you just like study in university, you just attend classes, you will not discover yourself, you will not develop yourself. And uh, why we study after all? Why do we study? Tell me. Can someone answer me? Please, Mohammed? We study to get knowledge. Yes, what else? Uh, to get jobs. Exactly, <laughs> to get a job. And do you think by just a diploma you can get a job? No, it's not enough. You have to, you have to develop yourself more. So I want to talk about the benefits of a campus club. First of all, you will learn more about yourself, as I said. You will learn about your strengths uh, your, uh, and your weaknesses as well, so you can develop them. So you, uh, you will learn about... Uh, Second point is you will develop soft skills like uh, communication, attitude, ethics, and you will know, need all of these when it comes to your career. And third, you will learn how to work with a team. Teamwork is important uh, to make connections. Also, you will get networking opportunities. Uh, all these people, you work with them in your club or let's say, uh, not just club, it can be any organization, student organization or association. And you will gain practical experience in safe environment. What I mean by safe environment? Safe environment uh, means it's okay to make mistakes when you are in a club or associations. It's not like a real world, like working or your own job. You will find support, people helping you. If you make mistakes, it's okay. You can like learn from those, then make better work. Then you will be able to use the skills you've learned in class, obviously like writing, speaking, and we don't use them that often. Even if you, we study like uh, languages, we don't practice enough. If we study economic or we study business, we don't apply anything. And you will learn how to engage in diverse groups of people, of course. You will gain leadership skills because uh, when you lead, you don't have to be just a member. You can be like, you lead the whole thing. And when you are a leader, well, when you are a leader, like uh, you organize, you do the, the event planning or you, management, you, it, this will help you in your career as well. And you will get a break from your studies, obviously. You will expand your resume and uh, you will be able to give back to the community. And 
uh, finally you will have fun. <laughs> so yeah, and you will uh, get unforgettable moments by this experience. And that's it, thank you. Well, uh, if you have guys some questions, you will go first. If you don't have questions, I'll jump first. That's jumping, not even asking. Yeah, okay. Uh, one of the questions that I would like to ask you, what's the purpose behind these cultural university clubs? Why do you exactly want to do that? Uh, I want to do that to help students and help myself at the same time. Help students because when you are in job interview after you finish your studies, the first question they ask you is, uh, why should I choose you then? When you are part of these uh, uh, organizations or clubs, you will have like interesting question, uh, answer for that question. All right, cool, cool. Well, uh, another question else. Uh, you are someone who didn't maybe have an experience on l making university clubs, but you jumped. And in your university, you know, as you know that the University of Algiers didn't have a club in a long time, and she just jumped and created her own club. Who inspired you actually to do that? To be honest, it wasn't easy at all because uh, for I, I'm third year uh, student and since I was a uh, freshman, I was thinking to do this. But I was always thinking that maybe I'm not good enough, I don't have, uh, I'm not that good in English, in public speaking, or in, uh, I don't have uh, like the, the skills that I need to do such thing. Then I was thinking that, I, it's not about skills, it's not about being good, it's just about if you want to help others, you will do so, you will. And, uh, and since I wasn't motivated in my university to learn more or something, but when I help others, I push myself to learn, I push myself to do more. So it's good for me and good for Perfect. others as well. Perfect. You have questions? Wow, that was so nice. So when you said, would you help everybody, like you and everybody? Do you think that making bonds is better than staying alone? Like working with associates of course. is better than alone? Of course, we live in community. We, we, can't, we can't stay alone. We can't live in an island all along. Also, uh, when you, uh, you have this experience of a club or organization, you, you, like you, you experience how to say, like, the real world outside. It's not, the, the world isn't about just classes. You, you won't be sitting, like, in a chair when it comes to working and uh, being an adult, let's say. So, yeah. Thank you so okay. much. Guys, any questions? All right. That's so good. Hello. What's your name? Hi. My name is Rufran. Oh? My name is Rufran. Rufran, okay. Okay. Uh, what kind of uh, what kind of environment that help you to speak up? Uh, environment to help you to sk speak up. I mean, uh, you mean to do what you want to do? Yeah, to speak uh, in public, especially. To speak? To speak in in, in front of public. I think it's ah, here. public speaking. Do it it's, now. it's by practice, and, and you mean you have to ask Hossam about this because he's an expert. But you have to like uh, practice a lot in group of friends. You can just. Uh, I don't know, you can just choose a topic and start talking about it. Before, what, do you, what do you mean? Sorry, before that, um, the environment that helps you. You just have to be like uh, with friends that uh, you are comfortable with and uh, you are not afraid they may judge you as a beginning. Then after all, you shouldn't be afraid from, even if there, there will be people judging you, but you won't, you won't lose anything. If you don't speak up, you will lose a lot. So. Thank you. You have to speak up. <laughs> Thank you. Just yeah. get the mic in the back. Okay, Arwa. <laughs> Hello, Arwa. Yeah, it's working. Face any problems and how did you get out of it? Problems uh, as uh, like a founder of this club. Yeah, I faced many problems, speci especially with administration, uh, with the, uh, even students. With You have to learn the techniques to reach them. Uh, but the good thing is, even if you face these problems, you will learn how to solve them as well. So problem solving is like the first skill that you, you'll be learning by doing so. How could you solve this problem? How to solve your problem? How could you solve these problems? It depends. You mean how to solve these problems? How could you? 
I, I didn't. Like how were you able to solve all your problems? And you mentioned that the administration was one of your problems. How yeah, could you solve course. that? Yeah, of course. You just uh, keep insisting, if you really want to do this, you can solve any kind of problems. It's not like something impossible or the fact that someone did it before you. You can do it as well. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Okay, the last question. We go to other speakers. Hello. Hello. Hello, my name uh, is Rashid. I want to ask a question about uh, the procedures and requirement for creating club. Creating club. Yeah, maybe like some people want to do that. It's uh, not that. that hard, in fact. You just, it's not that hard. The hard part is finding people that you trust to be with you. Because as beginning, it's hard and you need like people you trust, like friends or uh, that's the most important point, but with the administration or so on, you c it's not, it's just easy papers and uh, they like this stuff actually, yeah. our administrations, they would love you to do this and by helping, you will like be helping them and they help you as well, you will represent your own university or school, so it's like a win-win <laughs> after oh, wow. all. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. Welcome. Bro, yeah. I think I got a question, if you don't mind. Oh, wow, question? Oh, that was so, so good. Uh, good morning, everybody. I'm Brian Ah, hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm a student of Bizarias University, too. Okay. I wanted to ask you, or if you don't mind, to give them, or to give us, as uh, you know, youth people, some right. managers and the books that you read to inspire you and uh, be what are you now, you know? Okay, so uh, I'm reading currently uh, miracle morning, the miracle morning, morning. it's very five amazing. Seconds thing? It's like the five seconds, one, two, three, and then come to the stage. Like no, that. it's not five seconds, oh, it's no. six habits thing. Yeah, okay. I'm still reading cool. it. And yeah. I also read the, like a book that really inspired me, um, The Subtle of Not Giving. Uh, All right, so yeah, you know. by the way, we have the book ah, here, yeah. by the way. You can see the book, this one is amazing. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F, you know, what I the read F a lot is. of self There's only one meaning for the F in English, and it is so bad. Yeah. yeah. Basically, so I, we got the book here. Yeah. Yeah. What a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, that's a coincidence. Lovely one. Yeah, everybody's looking at the book is gonna move now. Yeah, oh book. wow, <laughs> that's the book, by the way. Uh, you know this book? Who asked me? This book. Yeah. Hmm. Also, I I read a lot of self development books. I'm, I'm not into novels, sorry, Sam, <laughs> but <laughs> I love such. Books. Thanks a lot for uh, speaking up. Thank you so much for coming in today. Please put your hands together for... <laughs>